honor and a joy to be here uh, this afternoon to stand with Ron and his family in support of his re-election. You know, I, uh, a business person turned public servant, and look, in my short two, two and a half years of public service, I've learned this. I knew it beforehand, but I've seen it firsthand now more than ever is that we do need good men and women to serve, to set aside uh, a portion of their life and to go out and invest in the future of this great country and this wonderful commonwealth. We are so privileged to be Americans and to enjoy the blessings that we have, but it's a heavy lift to keep, uh, as I refer to it, the republic in the center of the channel, and it takes good leadership at every, every level. So to all of uh, those of you who are serving, have served, and, and indeed seek to serve, I appreciate it. You know, from our family to yours. And Kathy, thank you so much. I know y'all give Kathy a big hand. She's so sweet. Y'all couldn't serve without her. You know, I always used to say this is true, Kathy. I used to say to Terry, she'd say, Well, Scott, do you want me to come to this particular event? And I'd say, Look, let's just get this over with. I want you to go to every event because if folks don't like me, that's entirely possible. They're surely like you. And that's true of you, Kathy. And your, your sweet family, when you I see the picture of your family with four children, they're growing now, but ours are much older. But I, Terry and I can relate. And I know that it requires service. And there are times when Ron is not home and you'd say, I really want, where's my man? You know? But he's serving his commonwealth and, and we're all better off. We're all better off for it. Uh, I have to say, just before these young men leave, I hope they haven't totally left the area with their drums or anything, but the Stallions, if I had closed my eyes, frankly, I would have thought I was listening to some competitive college level drumming. So if you guys were around, I mean, they started out, they started out as really good, then it went to, a, this is impressive. Then it went to outstanding about three, and then about three-fourths of the way through it just went, this is blowing my mind. <laughs> you know, it's a great group of young men, and it's a great way to kick off the campaign. Campaigns need energy to win, and they need people to give sacrificially to win. You need a candidate willing to work, and Ron's willing to work. You need friends to come alongside you on those hard days and say, we're with you. And we need to come alongside this good family and say, we're with you. You're not alone. You have to dig deep financially. For some people, that's a dollar. For some people, a bit more. For some people, a lot more. But you give what you can. You use social media to push it over the edge because the folks who are running against us, they sure understand social media. So we respect our folks who we disagree with and are running against, but we got to beat them at the ballot box. And we do it with a positive, inspirational message. And that's what Ron's doing. We need someone who listens. We need someone who cares. You're wondering, will he remember what the third one is? I will! We need 